seem like a pretty happy person, but that's not always the case. YouTubers, we have a character. We have a persona that we give off to people who watch. I struggle with depression as well as many haunting memories of my past. thought many times about ending my life and I self-harmed on a regular basis until thankfully I had an epiphany. Here's my story. Suicidal thoughts plagued my mind at a certain point in my life. There were a lot of fights between my parents, a lot of court dates, a lot of stress because of the problems that my parents had with each other, and I sometimes wonder if my parents got along, how my life would be different. And there are certain things that happened in my life that possibly wouldn't even have happened at all. And those things left me with a lot of sleepless nights because I was scared of a certain trauma replaying in my head like it did every night that I fell asleep. Now, because of this particular trauma caused by somebody that, as a child at the time, I thought I could trust, who took another opportunity while I was still a child, to not only make me go through it again years later, but also threatened not my life, but my family's life. Now, it was years that I kept a secret because, of course, I was afraid of what would happen to the people I love. I had nightmares every night that replayed over and over and I didn't want to sleep at all. Now, my mom thinks that the lack of sleep for so many years is part of what caused my seizures to be triggered as a teen, combined with, of course, all the hormones happening. I held this secret for so long, and it was so painful to the point where I started self-harming, because it was a way to think of the physical pain and not the psychological pain that I was constantly going through. I thought of ending my life so many times because I thought it would be easier for everybody. I wouldn't have to worry about telling someone what happened and for something to happen to my family because I wasn't strong enough to keep it in. Now, there was a point in freshman year of high school, there was a guy I liked that convinced me to do something because he said he would be my boyfriend if I did it. Then he told everybody at school and because I was not only stressed about that and my constant nightmares, but also dealing with the realization that I also like girls and all the teenage stuff that was going on in my life is just, it was the tip of the iceberg. It just was too much for me. So naturally, I blurted it out in the middle of a full hallway. The guidance counselor heard me and um, I was actually right outside the guidance counselor's office and she asked to talk to me. That started me on the path to being comfortable enough to talk about it to my mom, then my sister, then actions were taken and I started going to therapy and started going through the process of this person being brought to justice, which in the end didn't happen because, anyway. I 
still thought it was my fault for a really long time, even though I was a child and trusted someone that I shouldn't have. I still had nightmares. I still thought my family was in danger. I still thought they'd be better off without me. And if something happened to them, I wouldn't be there to deal with the pain of losing them. There wasn't any justice, in my opinion, because this person was allowed to walk free because of a loophole. Hence, the reason why I thought my family was still in danger. I tried to find other ways to deal with my pain because my mom was upset when she found out I was hurting myself. My new method of dealing with things wasn't much better and I still had those thoughts. Now at a certain point, my mom had convinced me to go to young adult meetings for people with epilepsy, like me. And after some time, I developed awesome friendships with honestly, genuinely amazing people. That helped a little to soften the internal struggle that I was going through. Then there was a point when I decided to become vegetarian and it helped slightly with feeling a little less crappy and after finding out that I'm allergic to dairy, I became vegan and that helped a little more. But in between that time, I had a bunch of things happen. The two most important things though, one, my cat had to be put down because he was really old and really sick. Two, I had a seizure that caused me to burn the lower half of my body with second degree burns. Now the first event made me think more about life in general and I thought of all the good times I had with him. And so this brought me to think about what would happen if I wasn't around to brighten other people's days with my dumb jokes. The second event really made me appreciate the new friends I had made. And that moment made me sure that they were going to be my lifelong friends. I also realized that because I was in extreme pain and really freaking out and there was a chance I could have a heart attack as the EMS told me so I tried to stay as calm as possible. One of my friends actually helped me with that in the ambulance and actually helps me to be distracted from the pain uh, while riding to the hospital. Shout out to Paul, awesome friend. But that moment taught me that I really didn't want to die. No matter how bad different events in my life might have been, there were things that were still worth living for. I have friends and family that really care about me and actually would be sad if I left them. Plus, who would they find to make all the hilariously stupid jokes that I make them laugh with? I can't leave them. I need to be here to brighten their day. Anyway, it was like my whole life flashed before my eyes in only a few seconds after I was told I should try to calm down because I was at risk for a heart attack. Since then, I have gotten dogs, and actually I already had a dog um, at that point when I got burned, but um, he was only a puppy at the time. Um, but regardless, I had gotten a second dog since then. And uh, anyway, off talk. <sighs> but my dogs have helps me to further understand unconditional love and also the effect I have on people 
due to a comment my mom made about our dogs. She said, you see how they come to you and cheer you up when you're in a bad mood? That's what you do for other people. So, I just want to fill my life with the joy of spending time with the people I love and improving someone's day, especially if they really need it. That's why I started a comedy channel, because if I make even one person laugh and improve their mood, improve their day, I've done my job. I have accomplished the goal, regardless of me feeling like crap on certain days. I now understand that yes, I do want to live. Yes, I, I do want to be around for the people I love. And I think it's really sad that there are people out there that think that absolutely nobody loves them. Because no matter who you are, there's always at least one person. Sometimes, maybe not even a person. Maybe it's a dog, you know? Of course, dogs love you as long as you treat them with love. They're gonna love you unconditionally. And life really is worth living. Sure, I spent two hours writing down all my thoughts, what I was gonna say, so that I wouldn't forget everything that I wanted to say, so that I wouldn't miss anything. No matter what, I'm glad I now feel like life is actually worth living. No matter what kind of things that I go through in my life, it really is worth living. Now, if you enjoyed my story, feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I promise it's not always this sad on my channel. I will leave links down below um, for numbers to call, contact info for the side hotlines and such. Please understand, life really is worth looking. So, if you need a laugh, go to my comedy channel, and if you just want to watch my daily vlogs, then go to my vlog channel. My comedy channel for more laughs on Thursdays and my vlog channel to see what I'm up to every day. Love you guys so, 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 so much.